Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this game contains themes and depictions of the following. Stalking. Kidnapping. Strong language. Mild drugs, alcohol, and smoking. Blood, murder, suicide, flashing images, and potentially loud noises. Discretion is advised. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Sup guys, it's Kendra and Dustin, and we are back with another episode of Cemetery Mary. Da -da -da. Yeah, intro. Uh, <laughs> last episode, we, well last time, okay, there was the drugs episode, and then we got knocked out, and it turns out ghosts are real! That's pretty cool. Or we hit our head and we were in a coma. That is also a possibility, who knows. Also, we got nothing from Batman once again. So yeah, I don't know what's going on, but when do I ever? So let's just hop into this. This one? Yes. Boop. Oh yeah, I think I told Sunny that I'd come back, right? Well, you said next time you'd bring her a teddy bear. I'd bring bear. her a teddy bear, so let's see if I'm about to do that. I decided to head back into down to the cemetery during the morning. Even though I knew a general area of where everyone was, I didn't really have an idea of who I was really looking for. Wait, I'm looking for someone? Hmm. I think you might be interesting. What am I doing? I decided I sat, wait. Decided, I sat myself down by the grave, and then shifted myself into a laying position over the top of it. I'm gonna try to, like, meditate my way, or, like, sleep yeah. my way into talking to ghosts? I guess so. This? <laughs> this felt weird. Yeah, imagine you're walking in the cemetery, and there's just this chick, yeah, like, <laughs> laying on the grave. I'm talking to them. <laughs> Uh, but I had to know. I shut my eyes and tried to think of nothing more than sleep, hoping that I could somehow fall asleep soon. And I'm not sh exactly sure when, but I did. For I woke up to the sound of graceful, a graceful violin. This has taken a turn that I was not expecting, but I am absolutely here for it. Let's go. <laughs> It happened again. Just like with Sunny, I woke up somewhere new. This is a theater, isn't it? It's soaked in shades of green. The afterlife seems to be green. Yeah. Fascinating. I've never been to a place like this before. It felt like a dream, and yet, not quite. It wasn't quite a dream, right? What is this place? Look around, take a whiff, <laughs> feel, listen, approach the stage. I feel like that'd be rude, because clearly they're performing. I would probably go for look around, right? Because you don't necessarily want to move. Not without first being like, the frick am I? <laughs> take a whiff. <laughs> I kind of want to do that, though. <laughs> okay, no, take a look around, and I want to also listen at the same time. So... I was in an old theater. The seats surrounding me seemed dusty. It looked as if they hadn't been sat in for quite some time. There was no one here except for me and the violinist on stage. I don't know if they noticed me here or not. Regardless, they continued playing. Look around. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. So now I'm gonna listen, I think. <laughs> Don't get one and take a whiff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if we know the song. The sound of an elegant violin reverberated throughout the theater. The violinist at top of the stage continued to play despite the fact that I was the only one here. It was beautiful to listen to. I felt as if I could sit in one of those chairs and listen for hours. But I still... But I know I did not have that kind of time. Still... What a shame to cut off such a performance so early. Uh, okay, 
nothing. It'll do take a whiff. What does it smell like? What does the afterworld, <laughs> the afterlife smell like? I took an inhale and tried smelling to smell what I could. Everything smelled faintly of lilies. But I couldn't see any flowers here at all. Oh, am I just smelling outside then? Which, in my opinion, is a little sad. Such a lovely music musician should at least receive a bouquet. Feel. And then I'll do a purchase stage last because I think that'll be the end. I reached out and touched the chairs. Although I could see that they had fabric covering, they felt like nothing, but the dust did not come off onto my hands, and the chairs themselves felt like dollhouse furniture? Plastic-like. Fake. Hmm. Alright. Let's go up to the violinist, I guess. I walked to the stage. The musician's image became clearer to me as I did. They did. They noticed me approaching, shifting their gaze to me. They slowly stopped playing their violin. They placed it off to the side, expecting me to join them on the stage. So I did. I climbed up the short stairs that led to the stage. The echoes creaked loudly in the huge room. The musician then gestured to an extra stool sitting just behind the curtain. I grabbed it and placed it beside theirs. Linda Walton? Lydian. Lydian, thank you. <laughs> Lydian Walton. The one and only. It, it really is you? Well... I don't see who else it would be. So you're supposed to be dead, aren't you? Are you a ghost? Both of those seem a little rude. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> Are you a ghost? Uh, I feel like the first one, because a, a ghost is like they're in the real world. Yeah. This is the afterlife, and I'm here. I'm the ghost. Kind of. <laughs> Uh, so you're supposed to be dead, aren't you? Yes. And I am. So it checks... It all checks out, does it not? I... I mean... I guess so, then? What brings you here, my dear? Well, uh... I just covered a new power and I'm honestly just testing it out. <laughs> Sleep, I guess? Sleep? That's a tad silly, don't you think? Silly? You're playing the violin to an empty theater. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> oh, it's not empty. You're here after all. Well, I suppose you have a point. Wait, I'm getting off topic. I, I wanted to talk about... How is this possible? Am I really speaking to a dead person right now? Again, that mentioning they're dead just seems kind of rude. <laughs> How is this possible? How should I know? That's true. <laughs> I'm not the dead person expert here. Well, neither am I. Are you sure? You are the one who is always visiting us, after all. I'd say you're more like us than them, if anything. Me? Visiting? But I've never been here before. Well, maybe once before, but that's it. Nonsense. You're always here. I've e I'd even say you're here more often than you aren't. I... I don't understand. Oh, I'm sure you don't, little flower girl. I suppose all those petals that find their way upon my stage just happen to fall from the sky. I don't follow. Silly, silly. You're always bringing flowers. Do you think we don't receive them? Wait, sorry. Are you telling me when I bring flowers, they wind up here? <gasps> this is kind of like Coco, kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seems so. Then I must... 
am I really talking to a dead person right now? How very quick are you, my dear? That's rude! <laughs> That's alright. Sorry, I just, uh, it's very exciting to be actually talking to you. Yes, I used to get that a lot. Although normally in a different context. Because she was famous. <laughs> this is... Wow, this is so... Wait. Am, I am a bit confused, though. Linda? Is that what you said? Lydian? You... Yes. Well, it's just that... According to your tombstone and all... Yes, what about it? Well, if it's correct... You shouldn't be this young. You're old! <laughs> Rude! Mary! <laughs> you shouldn't be this young, right? But you're in the afterlife! I feel like everyone has always assumed you get to pick what you look like in the afterlife. But still, you shouldn't be this young. You should look... Wait, you look like you could be my age. But how can that be? You died when you were in your 70s. It's true. Then, well... I guess I'm having a little trouble understanding... Because you seem... Well, you look very good for your age. <laughs> nice save. Good job. <laughs> good job, Mary. <laughs> very funny. But, no. It's true that I died in my 70s. I just liked my looks better when I was younger. Can you blame me? I believe this was my prime. Wait, so you're telling me... Mary? He's gonna see us just sleeping on him. Uh. <laughs> and once again, I was ripped out of this strange world by a very familiar voice. <laughs> Mars, what are you doing? Listen, I know that you're concerned for me before this. <laughs> <laughs> are you? You okay? Mm. Corwin moved out of the way as I stood up on my own two feet, brushing the dirt off myself. How do you explain this? Ah, <laughs> uh, hello! <laughs> Hi. No offense, but... <laughs> fuck were you doing? We have beds at home, you know. You don't have to sleep on the ground. You're not going narcoleptic on me, are you? I don't think that that would be <laughs> this. <laughs> no, no, no. It's nothing like that. I did it on purpose, actually. Why? I... Uh... Well, it's like... <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but... I... I think... Yeah? I think I can talk to ghosts! <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't laugh! I'm being serious! Yeah, no, I believe you. I feel like he doesn't believe me. So, did Jasper the Friendly Ghost invite you to over for tea or can they not use casper is that like trademark am i not supposed to say that <laughs> <laughs> prime i i'm really being serious i swear i'm not lying if if i can prove it to you hey 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 come on you don't gotta be like that if you're serious, then I believe you. I feel like I, this might be going in a direction that I am thinking of that could be awkward. But, uh... Sleeping outside is kind of... I understand uh, the concern. <laughs> a little fucking dangerous, yeah? Yeah! So maybe, like, don't? Especially all by yourself? Uh, right. Well, uh... Yo, Crowen! <sighs> Crowen and I turned our heads to look towards the empty 
the cemetery gates. You're telling me after what just happened, he's hanging out with these people again? Oh, man. Theodore and... How do you say her name again? Zapra. 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 We're on the other side. And that is probably where we're going to save. Yeah. Okay. The, I I honestly have no idea where this game is going anymore. <laughs> I can talk to dead people. This is so exciting. So what I hope happens in the future is I hope we go and talk to his parents and figure out what the frick is going on. But I don't know if she's necessarily going to think of that. Especially seeing as how it seems like we're going to have another run in with our favorite people. Which is great. <laughs> anyway i love this i love this game so much i hope you guys are enjoying this series you can look forward to another episode because you know it, it just keeps going i don't know how much time we have left it just keeps going um and yeah you guys can look forward to finding out what happens to mary in the next video and until then bye bye